Hi, this is Casey and I am doing a summer stories layout using a traveler's notebook sketch as inspiration. I'm creating my layout in the Big Happy Planner using two photos from one of our recent summer adventures. So I'm going to start out here by adhering that ombre pattern paper and then I'm going to use some of the bubble washi along the top there to just kind of add um, pops of the kit color to the page. Then I'm going to repeat that washi along the bottom and then I'm going to adhere that ombre pattern paper over to the far left side. You notice that that size doesn't cover up the whole layout of the Big Happy Planner. So then I'm going to go in and add my favorite pattern paper from the kit, which is the multicolored bubbles, which fits along with the photos being um, in the water. So I'm going to adhere those and now I'm going to back my photos with just some grid paper to give it sort of like a Polaroid effect, which is inspiration from that Traveler's Notebook sketch that Christine sends out in the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kits. So I'm going to put those um, not straight, I'm not sure what you would call that, kind of cattywampus I think is what my mom would say, adhere those down a little wonky we'll say and then attach those with a tiny staple with a tiny attacher they're adhered to with adhesive but the tiny attacher just adds a nice decorative element as well to the page so i trimmed off the sides there just to keep it along the happy planner size frame and attach the photos I guess before I attach the photos, I added um, a little top element. If you see up in that top left-hand corner, you could still see elements of the Happy Planner boxes. So this was a personal size month on two pages, but I love the ombre effect, as you can tell. And those little ombre dots, I thought were a great way to tie together the whole page um, and create sort of a title element. So I had to hear that at the very top and here I am finally attaching those pictures with a tiny attacher and then I'm going to choose um, some of the rub-ons from the kit to create a title there at the top kind of looking through now uh, which die cuts I want to use down there I want I'm looking for a circle element to tie those two photos together and then just adhere them triple time. I'm really into tacking those things down. I figured the circles will kind of mimic the circles of the pattern paper above. So I add those in there along with two of the word strip die cuts from the kit. Popping those in there. These kind of add just sentiments. I'm not going to add any journaling on this side. I probably will either on the back of the page or over to the left page at the beginning of the week. So I thought these little design elements adds sort of a title slash cheating on journaling for this layout. Now I'm going to adhere those down and move on to attaching the rub-ons. So I added the let's go, which was, this is from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And then again with the ombre elements, love it. Added that there at the top just to tie in all the colors together. Now I want to cover up those numbers from the Happy Planner just because the colors didn't match as much as I wanted them to. So I just popped out some circles from that pattern paper that I told you is my favorite. And then I'll attach the date circles um, from the kit uh, here in a second. This is just kind of a fun way to add your own color elements to an already made up planner. So really the lines of the Happy Planner were there but I didn't use any of them. I just basically used the foundation of the paper and the days of the week. And there it is, all finished up. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you soon.